Hey there guys, so I'm doing a, just a quick RuneScape video because I like RuneScape, RuneScape's nice, and I don't think, am I currently maxed out on RuneScape? Yes, you can max out on RuneScape now. Uh, Ultra? Uh, yes, I am. Eh, for some reason, I've guessed the, uh, the view distance is just worn off on me, or they added more fog to try to make that new mountain look mountainy, I don't know. I've been uh, working towards keys. Uh, to get those, you have to do, well, your challenges. And you can see I'm working currently on a Slayer task right now. I have to kill 33 adamant dragons, and I can barely kill four at a time. I managed to kill four. I was lucky. Lucky as all heck. One instant got instant killed, so that was thanks to these dragon instants these dragon uh, trinket things and thank god for that but I'm gonna actually be doing cavefish next 233 my god I mean I don't even need the XP anymore I'm level 100 so I don't really see the point of that um, but I actually wouldn't mind getting to level 120 to see how much faster the fishing can get uh, that actually would be pretty damn good um, I don't even know why I'm trying to take on Adam and Dragons. It's, it, they're just, it's stupid. They are so OP, it's ridiculous. And I am going to get a couple of UE4 videos done today, I think. And yeah, maybe one or two. There's some stuff I want to do to the Winterland. I actually had to move the Winterland over into Goldeneye. Uh, because it was interfering with the jungle part too. Like that, that other map. Yes, I would like to disable it because it's useless. I can't even get it to work. Harpoon, my man, harpoon. Oh yeah. Like it's gonna it's gonna load up all the assets and everything that I used for the winter were moved over, so that's that's not really an issue. I need to build a cave system though, um, with a little bit of ice and stuff. Maybe make an ice shader. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that. Uh, that's actually kind of confusing. I I need to go look at that. Um. Ice shader UV4. I want something like that. Ooh, that's just cheesy looking. That looks okay. Um. Ice material completely transparent. No, I never ever want it to be completely transparent. I found out some of my stuff was actually on there. Okay, ice texture. Seamless. So, I like this one. No. Yeah, so I'm going to go with this one. Ah, that's a little bit low detail, though. Uh, I need something that's a little. How is that higher detail than the other one? Um, I wonder if we have any assets that relate to ice shaders. Whoa. Whoa, my man. Overview. I believe we go into... 
Well, I could always set the filters to level. There's winter, see? We got it right here. Hopefully it came with everything it's supposed to. Ooh, we're falling. Oh, crap. Hey, I said stop, man. There we go. So this is what winter looks like in the daytime. I added a little bit of fog to make it work. And I realized something. Mountains do not need to be super low poly. They look incredibly stupid when they're incredibly low poly. So here's what I did. I went into Maya and I jacked them up. See, these parts are low poly, right? But when you get up close, the, it gets a little more high poly because I selected all of the pointy parts. Okay. And I did smooth on them. As you can see, they're smooth in some places and they're rough in other places. Uh, and it doesn't affect the UVing at all. And uh, it actually it works out very well. And for the mountain, I just smoothed the hell out of it and gave it a lot of detail in the end. So that's why it looks as good as it does. I mean, from this angle, it actually looks like a real mountain. That's how cool that is. I mean, look. It's no longer super pointy. It looks more like it's a rock structure. And uh, that's pretty great. Oh, can't carry any more fish. You know what, buddy? You know what, buddy? F f I can't swear at YouTube anymore. I'm sad. I hate you, YouTube. I hate you. I hate you and your mother. All right, so the mountains are now more mountain-like. Which I'm impressed about. I wish I could add sort of um, a thing to this to tell where the snow is able to be with the shader and where it's not able to be. That would be really great. But they do look really good. So we're going to land over here. Just play. Oh yeah. Badass Bond. Alright, so. Mountains look great. No more uh, pointy bits. Oh. Um, my god i'm gonna fall to my death mm -hmm. and i'm not gonna just fall but i'm gonna fall really quickly there we go another thing i've been doing in this is i've been fixing the trees if you remember the picture that we took the trees were all wonky i adjusted the slope that they're able to go to and I'll show you with the slope. All right, so the slope value was originally at 45 right here. And I set it down to 25, but I also want to set it to 20, uh, to be completely honest. And I want to enable that and crap. There we go. So Let's get rid of a few of these. So, you saw the way they were sloping just now. Do I have anything selected? Oh, is it going to do that thing again? See, you can't paint with it at 20. So, we're actually going to select it. And we're going to change it to 23. And 25. No, it still won't paint even it. I think I broke it. Did I break it? Please tell me these are in here. Th 
They are indeed in here. Good. Is that the roughness? Do these have any actual roughness on them? These bastards don't even shine. Yeah. That's supposed to be the spec. Break the length of that. And set that to zero point two. And hit apply. There, now they seem like they have ice on them at least. Odd that it won't do anything. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. Well, then, apparently, we can't put any more trees on here. That's bothersome. <laughs> no. Uh, we can get rid of trees. That doesn't make any sense. those instances open up this can we open up this Drop that in. I'm trying to paint here. <laughs> hmm. When in doubt. Oh, uh, you've earned a treasure hunter key. Great, that's what I was after. Uh, meshes, water. He didn't bring it over any of my meshes. Hmm. Okay, guys, I don't want to have to do this, but we're going to need to do this. To be able to get this done, I'm going to need this. I'm about to drop that bomb. Boom. Yes. Guess why we're waiting.
So they none of those should be floating if they are. Like that and I want them to connect. Sorry about this. Um, I lost my fishing spot. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the flatten tool. Make it a bit bigger. bit bigger. So there we go. And now we're going to need to smooth that out. So fucking pissed about the whole early alpha, early access paid DLC bullshit that Ark pulled. What kind of crap is that? But people that bought it are idiots and they're encouraging it. Not very intelligent, that's for sure. Damn it, where's my alpha? Oh. Believe it or not, this actually does a good enough job. God damn freezing. one shitty cave. Ah, there's a system update in 42 seconds. It's horrible. Alright, so when I replace this entire texture map, what's going to happen is we're going to have a little bit of trouble. But after that, we should be fine.
long as there's no crevices and it leads up over, we're fine. 